Hi, my name is Bob Warmer and uh, welcome to The Wanderers. My pleasure to bring to you the first in a series of four cricket coaching videos where we hope to unravel the mysteries of this marvellous game. During this first video, we're going to concentrate on straight batted shots. One of the great shots of cricket is a straight drive. But during an innings of 100, you're going to play not the straight drive, but the forward defensive far more often. In fact, sometimes 70% of your innings will be the forward defensive. Now, Evan, tell me, why should we use a straight bat? I'm not sure. Okay, Evan. Well, look, I'll show you what happens. If I put a cricket ball on the face of the bat, I can get six complete cricket balls on the face. I put it horizontally, a cross batted shot, I probably can only get one in a bit. You see, so it makes it easier in order to play if you play with a straight bat. So you can see it's better to play with a straight bat than with a crooked bat. Before we do that, it's more important to know how to hold a bat, which we call a grip, to know how to stand, which we call a stance, and to know where to stand, which we call a guard. Okay, guys, ready? Let's go and try that then. When the batsman gets the wicket, he needs to take guard, and there are reasons for it. Umfo, what are the reasons for taking guard? Uh, to know where your offense is. Okay, Umfo, okay, so what guard do you take? Uh, Come and show us. It's good. You probably want to come a little bit more this way, don't you? So that's it. Onto middle stump. There we go. Now you ask the umpire for middle stump. Nice and clear. Let's see you do it. Uh, center, please, sir. That's correct. Okay. Now the word for middle is center. Okay. So we're taking guard. That's middle stump. Now how do you make the mark to know where you're standing, uh, Umpa? Okay. Use your spikes. And you make the mark. Scratch the mark there. What other way would you use to make a mark? Uh, I can use my bat. Right, okay, so you make a line with your bat. All right. That's very good, okay? Now, Umfo said that he wanted to know where his off stump is. Let's see him get down in the stance. Very good. Let's see if he's got off stump. Let's drop a sinker with my bat, okay, from his chin down towards off stump. How are we doing? That's pretty close, isn't it? Thank you, Umfo. That was great. Come and sit down. Okay, there are other guards that we can take, such as leg stump. As you can see, I'm still holding the bat sideways to cover the leg stump. Middle and leg. I hold the bat square to the wicket so that it helps the umpire. So the middle and leg covers both stumps there. Okay, so I can take middle stump, which Umfo took, leg stump, or middle and leg. Now why do I take those particular guards? Okay, if I stand on leg stump, it means I'm exposing my wicket but it gives me freedom to hit the ball on the offside. So I'm a good offside player. If I stand on middle leg, then I'm a greedy player, okay? Because I like to hit on the offside and I like to hit on the leg side. So I'm a good all-round cricketer. And it's important for you to know that. And I stand on middle stump, I'm probably going to be stronger on my legs than outside off stump. But what Unfo said earlier was it's very important to know where your off stump is. Because you do not want to be playing at balls that are too wide. A lot of dismissals come from people playing full defensive at wide balls and being caught in the slips. Can I have one leg, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Gary, that's interesting. Why do you take one leg? For a few reasons, Bob. The one is um, it's something I've been comfortable doing um, over my career. And I feel it also allows me to know where my off stump is, which I think is very important for a left hander. Right. Also, I find. Um, I'm less susceptible to the LBW decision because I'm getting my pads outside the line of leg stump. And generally for the ball to hit the wicket to the left hand, it has to be pitched outside leg stump. That's interesting. And do you, do you find it uh, right arm over bowler? Did you open your stance slightly in order to cope with that or do you, do you close yourself off? How yeah, do you, I, think, I think for a left hand it's very important to open your stance a little bit so you have better vision. And also ball coming across your lap allows you to leave a lot more. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks Gary. Cricket is like all racket and ball sport games, in that when you hold the bat, it's very important that you're able to swing the bat towards the ball in a straight line. Now, therefore, the grip is very important to do so. And, uh, Sebastian, let's see how you hold the bat. Okay, let's stand a little bit. Okay, I want Sebastian to swing that bat along that white line. Okay, ready? Let's do it with one hand at a time. Take the top hand off, Sebastian. Well done. Okay, let's see him swing that bat along that line and see how he does it, okay? Okay, now just see, as he swings, he's leaning backwards. 
Okay, there's something wrong with his bottom hand grip. Okay, let's take the bottom hand off now, and let's use the top hand. Okay, Sebastian, let's swing, let's bring it up here, and swing down. Now, that's it, good, okay? All right, that doesn't look too bad. All right, let's have a look at Sebastian's bottom hand then, okay, and see what the problem is. Right, first of all, let's remember that the bat handle should be an extension of the right arm, or the bottom arm, the bottom hand arm. Okay, now let's have a look. Okay, now you'll see that his knuckle is going down the back of the bat. Let's see if Sebastian can swing the bat along the line now, a bit better. Okay, let's try. Well done, that's good. Let's keep the head forward. Well done. Good, okay. Now he's beginning to swing that a little bit easier for him, all right? Swing forward, that's it, good, okay? Now let's put the top hand on. Okay, and let's see the two working together. Well done, that's it. Just lean forward, keep the head forward, that's it. Keep the head forward, that's it. Well done. Okay, good. No, that's fine. Okay, now we see. Let's have a look. You notice that the bottom hand, the knuckle's going down the back of the bat. And let's have a look at the top hand. Okay, to make it simple, let's take the bottom hand off. The top hand, the knuckle formed by the thumb, or the top of the thumb, goes down the same line, the back of the bat. So that's keeping it fairly simple. Okay, let's see how the hands work together. Not too far apart, not too far apart. Okay, that's too far apart. I can put a whole hand in there, I don't want that. I want to bring the hands together comfortably so that just two fingers slot in there so it's nice and easy. Okay, let's just check the knuckles. Well done, Sebastian, let's check the knuckles. Okay, and let's have a look. You're swinging down that line again. Good. Okay, that's a basic grip that will allow you to hit along the line of the ball. Right, we've seen the orthodox grip, and let's see how an international cricketer holds his bat. So, Gary, how do you hold your bat? Yeah, but there's something that's obviously very important, and I try not to change too much during the course of a career, but obviously I try to stay in the position where I'm very comfortable, and it allows me to play a full range of strokes. Obviously sometimes, um, especially with juniors, they get their hand too far around, which inhibits them to drive. So, let's just take your gloves off, Gary, and, and, and have a look uh, at, at uh, the position of your knuckles and fingers on the bat. Okay, let's have a look. Right. Okay, we can see Gary's, the back of his hand is, is, is facing out towards cover point, and the thumb of the uh, bottom hand is running down uh, the back of the bat, and, and perhaps that's Gary's grip. He's used, he's used it for a long time, and uh, I think it's very important, as he said, that you must develop a good grip in order to be able to hit all round the wicket. Okay, we've learned how to hold a bat. Now we've got to learn how to stand. It's very important that we know how to stand properly, comfortably, before the bowler bowls. And we've got Jackie here, who's going to help me. Okay, Jackie, let's have a look uh, and let's see how you stand. Okay, first of all, let's make sure your feet are parallel to the batting crease and our shoulder width apart. Okay, let's check that. Let's check that. Let's check, give me your bat for a second. Let's check your feet. Nice and parallel. Good. All right, and let's check your knees. Now, nice and parallel coming down the wicket. That's good. And your hips and your shoulder. That's right. Now, we need to make sure that all those are going down the wicket. Now, let's take the bat again. Okay, just check your grip. That's it, fine. Now, just roll your body forward so that you can put your bat on the ground. In a nice, comfortable stance there. Rest your front hand onto the pad and get your head nice and steady looking down the wicket at the bowler. Now, let's have a look at that. Okay, so remember that. 